It's very important to, um, to uh, pre-surgically uh, prepare the patient for surgery, uh, to prevent, you know, complications and to get better results, better vertical height, uh, less uh, surgical time and things like that. Well, let's say you do a posterior mandibular bone graft. I look at a couple of things before I do surgery. For example, how wide is the, the basal bone? Usually it's wide, but not always. If it's narrow, I have to be prepared for that. Maybe I need a larger membrane. Maybe I need to, you know, plan a little bit differently. That's easy. But the distal tooth, the most distal tooth, let's say you're missing uh, anything behind the second, first premolar. That distal tooth is very important. How is the condition of that tooth? That tooth can have old, poor fillings, can have an old crown with an open margin. That's true for everything, but you want to change that. But that tooth can also have a little bit of loss of the interproximal height. That is usually limiting the height, the type of, uh, you know, the, the height of bone that you can gain. Sometimes you may have three millimeters of bone above the nerve and then there is bone loss on the distal tooth and then you can grow another three millimeters of bone. Maybe it's not worth it to maintain the tooth. So uh, there's also another thing. It's not only the height of the, the bony peak, but also the angulation of the bone behind the last tooth. It, if it's very steep like that, then it's more difficult, more challenging to do the whole bone graft. Your bone graft is gonna be very close to the neighboring tooth, so you make sure it very, the tooth is very clean. And maybe that tooth is already root canal, there's a post and core, there's like a lot of things with that tooth. And, and then those cases, you may question yourself, do I really need this tooth? Or can I, I'm playing chess here, and shall I do the pawn sacrifice? Sacrifice this tooth, which is not a good tooth, again, for the, uh, the, the mentioned reasons, but if I extract the tooth, I will gain what? I will have an extraction socket that is gonna be very likely a very good site for an implant. From that extraction socket, if I perforate, I have a good source for bone formation, not only from the, from the bottom of the bone, but from the corners of the bone, so better bone. My fixation of the membrane is gonna be super easy compared to a very steep situation. So my surgical time and stress level is gonna be also uh, stress is little, little less, the surgical time is less, and the bone is going to be better, so that pawn sacrifice isn't going to win the game for me in those cases. <laughs>